Hello everyone, Pam Engel here, and I'm going to tell you about the way of the week, number four, which is always celebrate and encourage. And I'll read this way to you. Show gratitude and appreciation by acknowledging the good works you see everywhere. Look for signs of spiritual growth among our members and staff. When you see it, point it out and rejoice. Pass on good reports that you hear about others. And from Acts chapter 11, uh, Barnabas was sent to the church in Antioch, and when he arrived, he saw evidence of God's blessing. He was so filled with joy, and he encouraged the believers to stay true to the Lord. Steve and I moved to New Jersey from the Midwest with our two small boys and away from our families many years ago. Finding First Press was one of the best things about our move. We have been nurtured in our faith in so many ways over the years. Sunday school for our three children, adult ed classes that encouraged our faith journey, Presbyterian women, discipling class, and volunteers volunteering in so many ways. Our church family has always been for us with encouragement and celebration through the years during difficult times and our times of great joy. Two years ago, Steve and I joined a small group that meets on Monday evenings where we have Bible study, times of conversation, and sharing. We are so encouraged by the friendships that we've developed and have grown to love each other in that one small group. I encourage you to ask about joining a small group. Give me a call and I'll talk to you about it or give Kelly Lipinski a call. First and foremost, we need to encourage believers in their growth, in their faith, and their spiritual journeys. You can join a small group, a Bible study, a prayer group. Regularly encourage our missionaries with a short letter. And when we're finally able to get back together, we will celebrate. Be sure to say hello with a friendly smile to everyone that you pass, even if you don't know them. Be like a Bar Barnabas, whose name means encourager, and build up our church family. During this pandemic, it's a difficult time for all of us, but especially those who can't get out of their homes or nursing care facilities. Drop them a note, a card, give them a call, and if you're able, cut a, flowers from your, your garden, bake some cookies, drop off a meal. Um, there's so many ways that we can encourage those in our church family. And as always, don't forget our staff and their families in your prayers and give them words of encouragement. Stuart, Kelly, Joel, Martin, and Chris, Holly, but also those who take care of the church office and the grounds and the building. Remember them. And remember to always encourage and celebrate. Steve and I have always appreciated and depended on our church family. We love you and celebrate each of you always. God bless.